Hey guys, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures. I think it's gone live. I am not sure, but I think it has. So, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? I wanted to come on this, what time is it, afternoon, and talk a bit about brooches. I've been doing some research on brooches because I've been coming across more and more, and I'm beginning to wonder if there are ones that I'm leaving behind that are worth money because I didn't recognize what they were. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to come on and we would do a little spying on eBay sold and see what's out there. Now I've done a little bit and looked through and certainly have seen some that I thought I might have overlooked or might not have picked up if I didn't know what to look for. So I thought, okay, this will be fun. Let's go look and see. And I thought I would come on and say hello to some people and friends that are watching live. So before I get started all the way, um, I want to say thank you for you guys who come over and watch live. If you're ever interested, I have a subscribe button and next to it there's a little bell that you can click to be notified when I do go live. So I didn't share this out. So thank you so much, everybody that's coming. Um, this is sort of impromptu. I have evacuated for the hurricane. So my guys and I are in a hotel room right now and we're just resting and it would be super easy just to go out and spend a ton of money because we're not home. But I'm really trying to do this on the cheap. Um, yeah, evacuate Hurricane Harvey on the cheap, if at all possible. So hello, hello, my friends in the chat. Um, Tam and Felicia, Kathleen, Diane, Cheryl. Hello, Donna and Flex. Hello, hello. Okay, so, hi, Michelle. So I do, oh, I do have the chat where you can see, actually, there it is. Oh, it's, why isn't it popping out? I don't know. Okay, we'll have to figure that out, but that's okay. We'll figure it out later. Hang on. Boom, boom, there it goes. Okay, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's jump over and take a look at the brooches. And here's what I did. Let me switch. I wonder if I forgot, did I fix this chat so you could see it? Look, I wonder what I did wrong. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to hide the chat for this one because I'm not sure what I did wrong on it. I'm going to try one more time and see if I can get the chat going because I like for you guys to see the questions that pop up um, when, they, when they do. So real fast, let me see if I can grab... Nope, that's not it. Um, I don't know what I... Oh, maybe this? Nope, that's not it. Cancel that. Okay. Let's just plow forward. How about that? And I'll just tell you what everybody says if they're there. Hello, hello. Yes, we will be safe. Randy um, ended up staying back with the with the animals, um, and we're not we're not destined. We're not in the direct path, but we're definitely. I'm in Houston, so they're definitely predicting that Houston is going to be getting lots of rain. <laughs> so I thought, uh, first of all, we stayed for the last one. I think it was Ike. I am such a big baby when it comes to things like this. I was up all night long. I know we're here to talk brooches, but I just said, you know what? I'm Margaret out. <laughs> and we left. So, okay, here we go. Hello, hello. Again, apologies that the chat isn't working, so you can't see who all's there. But, I, and I want to give a shout out to my friend Steve Rakin. I totally am stealing this idea from him because I know he was doing um, spying on eBay things before, and I thought, what a good idea. I'm going to do that, but with a twist. <laughs> so here it is. So what I did was I typed in brooch into an eBay search and then I selected um, buy it now rather than all listings. So because I just do buy it now. So that was my my rationale for doing that. So I selected buy it now and I selected sold. So I wanted to see what had sold. So there were some terms that came up that I was not familiar with at all. Um, so the, again, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to see things and know, oh, hey, you know, just, just a little like file in the back of my brain. So if I see something at an estate sale, a garage sale, a thrift store that maybe the maybe I didn't know about, maybe the people hosting didn't know what it was, I would be able to identify it and snatch it up. So, of course, you know, we're going to all recognize things like Cartier. Um, I think if I saw something with a Cartier stamp, I might think that it's fake, but it would make me look again, right? So, there are some things that, like I've never heard of the Seaman Sheps. Um, 
that is not one that I clicked out of. If I saw something Tiffany and Company, I'd probably pick it up and look at it. So I'm really looking for ones that maybe I wouldn't have taken a second look on or maybe was surprised that it was selling. So hello, hello in the chat again. Um, so this right here, this Black and More pin brooch jewelry, I, I would have looked at it twice. I wouldn't have realized how much it was worth. And then I would have wondered about the about selling it, you know what I mean? Because I know there's a, a fine line there um, with some of that. So I had to look that up and there were actually quite a few on eBay that, that had sold. So, okay, I, went, I was like, okay. Um, let's see, did I click on that one? I think I, I, I did a little research and then decided not to share because I don't know, I didn't, I don't know, I just didn't. So again, I'm just looking for things like, would I have picked this up? So here's this brooch. Van Cleef a pair Arpels, uh, vintage textured bow. And in, in the jewelry group, oh, who was it that had a bow that I was like, uh, I, my gut tells me it's not real. And it totally was. I was so wrong. Um, so again, this is something that, now if it was marked 18K on the back, for sure I would know. Um, but that's not a, a brand that I'm, I'm familiar with. So going down, um, again, looking for one, the, all of these that I'm scrolling past, I would pick up just if I saw them like, oh yeah, I'm picking that up. Um, this one, yeah, oh yeah, I'd pick that up. I'm again, okay, so scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I know, look at some of these prices. I would feel nervous selling something for this higher price on eBay, but hey. All right, so this one almost looks like costume jewelry to me, right? I mean, it's beautiful. I would pick it up, but it almost looks like um, tarnished silver or something that's got that paint to make it kind of look like grayish um but I would still again still pick it up okay here's one now this looks like something I might have seen I'm going to open it in a new tab Boop. where'd it go okay here so this looks like something like I would have seen a little flower basket brooch you know that looks something like this that I would have thought oh these are cute little you know rhinestones or crystals in there uh but this one is not it is a yellow gold flower basket, blah, 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 ruby sapphire brooch. Um, so I want to see what it looks like on the back because a lot of times with really higher end stuff, just by the way it's constructed, um, kind of, it will give you a clue that it's a nicer piece, right? So, I mean, to the, on the front, yeah, okay, it looks good. And maybe holding it in my hand, it would be a little different. You know what? I'm not seeing any pictures of the back. How about that? Yeah, there are no pictures of the back of this thing. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> I I don't know about that. Maybe they have, no, nope, no, nope, no pictures of the back. Okay, forget it. But, pardon me, as you can see, there are some other baskets. I have probably seen a number of little flower baskets like this, and I've just thought, oh, there are a diamond dozen, and not picked them up and looked at them because... I didn't. So, I mean, that's definitely something that now I will when I see them. Look at this. I would pick this up. <laughs> um, yep, again, I would pick that up. I would pick that up. This was different for me, this um, Art Nouveau watch pin. But there was another one that I know I, I pulled out. Let's see. Or did, was it that one? No, no, it wasn't that one. Ah! <laughs> did you see that? I just closed it right up. Boom. There it comes. Okay. So, let's see what was the next one was. Again, uh, yeah, I would pick this up because if it's a Tiffany and Company or Paloma Picasso on it, for sure, I would pick it up. So this one looks, you know, I, again, it is the type of brooch that I would, I would pick up if I saw it. But is it something that I would have thought, unless it's marked, that, where did that happen to it? Okay, I clicked on it. Oh, I saw an alligator. Sorry. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. All right, go back, go back. <laughs> is it something see original listing isn't that what I clicked on it didn't take me there okay um so I'll just how about I stick with the ones I already pulled out to show you so again I would pick this up okay here was one that I was floored by Seaman Shep's vintage authentic 18 karat gold wood brooch so if I saw a wood brooch with some like gold rope like cording on it would I think that it might be worth eighteen hundred dollars probably not um but this is apparently something i need to learn about so seaman shep's vintage authentic blah 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 so here's this brooch 
I I might have taken a second look at it because of the mixed materials, and some people really like that. But honestly, would you look at this and think it's worth that? And I know that it was um, a best offer, so we'll we'll check. I thought they checked Flipper Tools already. No, I checked it for that one. Did I not? Okay, I can pull up Flipper Tools and see what it actually sold for because it shows here that that line drawn through it means that they took a best offer for it. So let me open up Flipper Tools so we can see what it actually sold for. Um, and then we're going to look at the, the marking on the back to put it in our little, our vault <laughs> of information going forward. So, okay, look. Accepted best offer, $950. Okay, so yeah, they took a best offer, and it's significantly less than what they had it listed for, but $950 for a wood. And you know there's not $950 worth of gold there. So let's uh, take a look. And yet, and I know there are, there are some jewelry snobs out there that will probably be saying how I'm displaying my ignorance, but I am. <laughs> and I have no problem with that because I want to, uh, this is how you learn, right? <laughs> so this is the back. Okay, so looking at this back, if I picked up a piece and saw this back, I would certainly think, wow, this is really well done because look at the detailing, the scalloping um, on this. And then I, I see that there's this little clasp here. There's not one for the other side. So I, I thought maybe it was a like a, a dress clip, you know what I mean? I wonder how much they paid for it, Tam says, I know, right? So here's the name on it, Seaman Sheps, 750, that's like a, I think a European marking for gold. So knowing that in the US, we, we might mark it 14K, 18K, in other countries there's like 800 something, 700 something for the purity rather than what we have over here. So, so interesting. Okay, so again, with that kind of closure, like I really, I thought that was like a dress clip, but maybe I'm wrong. So I need to do a little research on this particular kind of closure, or maybe it can be worn both ways. I don't know. So that is going into the brain vault right there. Seaman Shep's wood gold mixed brooch. Very cool. Okay, again, I would pick this up. Levon, yep, I would pick it up. So here was one. Um, hi, Joanne. <laughs> so then here's this cremence. Okay, so I know cremence mostly, here's cremence, right, from like men's accessories, cuff links, tie bars, tie tacks, things like that. So I found this one, cremence, antique Art Nouveau, you know, and it looks like, what is it, enamel. It's like this enamel, ugly, <laughs> right? But hey, right? yeah, ugly sales. So I, on men's accessories, cremence has just like the name on there. I didn't recognize, when I was looking at this, I was like, ooh, 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 okay, let me see. I was looking at the marking, and I didn't recognize that marking as a cremence marking. So let's see if I can get it on there so you can see it. It's like this, almost like an anchor, or it's like a, you know, it's a J, a mirror image J kind of thing. Hi, Jane, how's it going? Um, and apologies if I missed you in the, in the chat uh, and didn't say hi. So this one was listed for, 1750 and the best offer oh yeah here's the I wanted to show you the the marking this cremence it's kind of like this J can you see that yeah you can um, like so okay I had no idea cool ah oh, did I close out of that other flipper tools I could have sworn I did this already okay no no big deal Margaret we can just do it again did they take a best offer on it no look buy it now 1750 I'm gonna double check it because that seems wild to me, but there are collectors that will spend, they will spend money, you know what I mean? Okay, here goes. Did they, oh, not a best offer lifting. Okay, never mind. So they, I guess that's what they got for it. Uh, yeah, so I, I mean, I think if I flipped it over and saw 14K, sure, but if I saw this just like that and thought it was like this little enamel flower, would I pick it up? Maybe, maybe not, depending on the flower, you know? I have friends that collect orchid stuff or I don't know. But if I saw this little pansy, like, eh, I'd probably think it was just, I might pick it up. But, you know, it depends. Like, I may not. So it's good to know. So there's that. What was the next one? Okay. So going down the line, I, I pick up butterflies all the time because they tend to sell for me. Um, again, another pansy. I did look this one up because I thought, oh, what I... I I see stuff like this all the time. I generally pick it up, but 
you know, what I picked, I, when I flipped it over on this one, I didn't flip it over, but the picture, here, I'll go ahead and share, because I, I know I closed this one out. I mean, if I saw this out, for sure I'd pick it up. Okay, so look. So here's the front of it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But then you flip it over, and it's got this. I mean, come on, who wouldn't? Look at the class, the closure on that. Look at the, and it's got this piece that flips up. I'm guessing for, like, to put a, a piece of hair, somebody's hair, or something like that. I don't know. So, very, very cool. Totally would have had trouble getting rid of it. <laughs> you know? Uh, okay, so... I am, I am drinking a soda. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, so this was another one that was new for me. Totally new for me. I, I would totally pick it up. But I had never seen or heard of a lover's eye brooch. Okay, and maybe you guys have. I have never seen a lover's eye brooch. And so, hang on, let me find. I sold. So here's one that sold. And it's like this Georgian... Lover's eye miniature brooch with pearls. It's like an eye, you know? So I had to do some research. Here's another one. Look how cool. I would totally have picked this up because of just like weirdness. Like, what is this? This is insanity. Without knowing what it was. Now I know. Um, and I'm fully aware of my ignorance about it. But how cool, right? So basically, the story that I read, this is completely... The Cliff Notes version, there was a king, was it King George? I'm going to say the wrong name, I'm sure. But he was in love with this widow who didn't want to marry him, and apparently he sent her an image, like a miniature of his eye. I don't know. So anyway, well, let's see, because I, I was looking it up. Let me find it. Who was the king? Who was the king? Um, where did it go? Okay who later became George the Fourth, He was, uh, became smitten with twice widow Catholic woman Maria Fitzherbert, and he was courting her, and she didn't want to do it, and blah, 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 blah. Well, anyway, she came around. But uh, he did send her this miniature of his eye. And so now this is the thing, lover's eye miniatures, which I think is really cool, but kind of bizarre, right? Cool and bizarre. <laughs> so I had no idea, but now I know. But I, yeah, like I said, I would have picked up an eye if I saw a little eye brooch for sure. Okay, so here's another one that I, I you know, again, if you flipped it over, but I, you know, you see these bursts. Hang on one second. We are. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Tam says, I hit the jackpot last weekend. Several eyes, massive amount of jewelry. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I got my... <laughs> We're doing it on the cheap, like I said. Okay, so, yeah, I've seen, like, burst like this. I mean, I, I for sure would have picked this up. But let's see. Uh, I'm going to look at the back of it real fast. Again, it's got this kind of backing with the double you know, clips on it. Very cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I've got to do a little more research on this type of backing like that. And maybe it's just double secure because it's so awesome. Let's see if it says right there, 18K. But look where the 18K is hidden, like under the little clip there. So you'd really have to dig and look around for it. Hi, hi, in the chat. Hello, Tracy. Okay, so next up, uh, again, scrolling down, I was looking for Things that I would maybe not have picked up, you know. Would I have picked it up? Look at this! Oh, so cute. <laughs> it's so funky cute. But yeah, I would have picked that up. Um, again, here's one of the, the eye, the lover's eyes. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm looking for one. Definitely would have picked up this one. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> um, that's the eye. Okay, let me scroll, close out of some of these that I already looked at. So um, there was a coral flower. I would... Again, I see stuff like this, but not as high quality, you know, kind of like reproduction. But if I saw, you know, again, here it is. If you flip over the back of something and you see the, the quality of the work on the back, it, it says a lot for the piece. So, and I, th I think most of us know that, but, and then, and if I saw 14K, I'd probably get it anyway. So, 
Okay, so here was another one. <laughs> Let me scroll down and show you some of the others. The, and again, these are just from the top, the highest selling down. Again, I like picking up, of course, if it's Chanel or Tiffany, you're going to take a second look at it. Um, where are some others? I'm trying to get caught up to where I was to show you. Oh, here was another one, right? Would I have taken, I probably would have because I like rocks and minerals and stuff, but come on. <laughs> Who would have looked at this and said, that is almost a thousand dollars right there, right? I wouldn't, but I don't know who it, Ra, Raj Moni, I don't know who that is. So, um, I guess, we, I don't know if we passed this or not. So here's another one. It's like this chick emerging from an egg. Um, again, it's really unusual. So that's probably what would have led me to pick it up, but not, I would not have necessarily thought that it was um, something amazing like this. I don't even see, they didn't, there's no mark there that I can see 14K or, oh wait, where, there it is, way in there. So you can kind of see it in there. There's an 18K. So you really have to look. Okay, 18K, yeah. Okay, cool. Can y'all see what I'm seeing? Okay, good. So there was that one. Okay, here's this one. Would I have picked it up? Uh, maybe because it's unusual, but... Would I have necessarily thought all these stones were real? I would have had to take a, a closer look at them, right? Okay, so there's that. Let's take a look at the back. Here is the marking on it. Oh, come on, where's my thing? Arad, and I know I'm butchering this name, Arad Moini. So, yeah, okay, somebody said jade. I missed the jade. So I know, like, this is probably lapis right here. I think it even says lapis. Yeah, lapis, carnelian, quartz. But it must be the maker because that's that's just a, a maker. I'm going to have to deposit um, one that I can't pronounce. So definitely look that, look that one up. Keep that one on your radar right there. Oh, here's I, I did. I said, oh, let me look this up. Uh, apologies for butchering the name. But looking at, you know, what I'm seeing, they look, I mean, like if I saw these earrings, I'm going to click on them real quick. I know it's not. But I mean, I, they look like little white flower costume jewelry earrings, right, to me. But now, just taking that second to flip things over, look on the back, see if I see a name, see how it's constructed from the back, um, could be worth thousands, hundreds, you know, for sure. I mean, I have got a brooch similar to this that I just, I'm, I'm actually putting it on the thumbnail. It's not exactly like this, but it's, you know, similar-ish. Nowhere near $1,000, right? No, because of it's not. <laughs> okay, so here was another one. I know I've, I must have skipped one, but here we go. So this lot of Disney pins, I mean, I, I know there are Disney collectors, so I might have picked up a few of these, but, you know, not a, I mean, I see a lot of Disney stuff out there. But this sold for, let me see, was it a... Yeah, this one sold for $959, all right? And this is Great Britain in pounds, so 750 pounds. So I was like, what is? what do I need to know about these things, right? So Butler and Wilson, which is something I have not heard of, vintage. So I wanted to see a mark. I want to see something to let me know in the future what I'm looking for. So I'm looking at the back of Pooh here, and I'm seeing these. Come on, why aren't you zooming in for me? There's like these little button or little tabs, you know, right there. I think it says Butler Wilson, Butler and Wilson on the little tab like that. Okay, I don't get to see the back of any of the others. But that is something to keep an eye out for. Now, are they, yeah, there's really not a whole lot of, um, yeah, I mean, what is so special about them other than the name? Like, are what, what stones are they? Are they set in something? I see a Herod's right there. I think, see that H right there? That looks like it's maybe like a Herod's box. So perhaps it, they were something bought from Herod's. Um, recognize the H. So anyway, yeah, Butler and Wilson, very good make. See, and, th and that's just the thing. I didn't know. I I just didn't, you know. I don't, one person can't know it all, right? Do you write all these? Did you write down all these names? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> I probably should. <laughs> I can come back and watch this for uh for tips later. Okay, so this was one that I did not, are you guys not seeing all of this? Oh my goodness, I didn't know it was cutting off, sorry. 
Um, Cindy say, I almost always pick up Disney jewelry regardless of manufacturer. See, that's a good tip. Cause I, and I know there are people that collect. Like my mom, her thing is Alice. She's, she'll collect anything Alice in Wonderland. And there are people like, they just, everything of a certain character, a certain one, um, show, right? Movie, look, whatever. Um, Jane says, wow, crazy prices. I have significant gemology background. Never would have thought to, to pick some of these up, right? Okay, so this is a really pretty set. I mean, it looks really well done. So I, I would have probably picked this up. The colors are beautiful. Um, but this was another name that I hadn't heard of, AJ Hedges. So I thought, well, let's click on that so we can get familiar with the, the marking. And so basically, it's like this H that swooshes out like so. And then the 14 and then the K is underneath like that. And it's, you can see it better on the earrings. See the H and then the 14K. So, I mean, if I saw 14K, yeah, okay. But now I know. So this set sold for $995. Very cool. And then this is one, again, I would have picked up, but maybe I wouldn't have realized immediately what it was. <clears throat> um, Ash Grossbart. Okay, so it's very unusual, which would have led me to pick it up. But, again, on the back, I mean, 14K, but would I have thought that, or would I have thought it was brass? I mean, I guess as you get more comfortable, you are able to pinpoint. From a photograph, though, you need a photographic memory, right? Cheryl says, I always pick up cats. Yeah, people love cats. Butterflies, I always pick up butterflies. Any kind of, like, um, like animal people, you know, tigers, whatnot. Okay, this one blew my mind. So this is a Trifari brooch lot. This is it for the title too, Trifari brooch lot. We've got a lion and we've got this pin with the dangles, which is cool. And we've got this like jelly belly type with the, with the turtle. That's it. I thought maybe there was more. It's a lot, right? No, nope, that's it. It's just those. All right, cool, cool. Okay, $975. So... Trifari Jewels of India brooch, one stone missing, lion has no markings, but look is similar, and jelly belly turtle, some stones missing. So even with stones missing, this lot sold for $975. Is that right? No, it took a, they took a best offer for $780. Declined, expired, declined, accepted. Okay, $780. Okay. And again, the lion wasn't marked, so maybe they knew something. And then there must be some that are just really desirable. I mean, this is, where is it? That's the, I can't read that. I think that's the, where it says Trifari down there. And then this one, Trifari, patent pending. Yeah. There was another Trifari. Here we go. This girl. This signed Trifari, sterling silver, vintage, figural, sold for $895. Are they that's what I was like, are they silver? I mean cuz this one I there's no no. I mean it doesn't say they're silver. It doesn't say I mean even still. Come on. There I mean so there must be maybe this one because of the um Trifari Jewels of India brooch. I mean maybe this is one that is really it looked like the flower had a stone missing in the center. Oh, on the, on the, this one? Let's get up here and see. On that one? Unless you're talking about something else. I missed it. Was it on this one? Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm not sure because they didn't really give a description of, of that. So that, that may be something I need to dig a little deeper into. Um, what are the pieces, the Trifari pieces that are really desirable to keep your eyes out for. So the flower a few minutes ago. Oh, wow. oh, the one from a few minutes ago, I think it was like a, it almost looked like a smoky topaz or something in the center, or quartz or something like that. Hello, Janetta, hello, hello. Um, so where'd the other Trifari go? So yeah, this chick, let's go down and look at the description. She is, okay, so she is sterling silver. Okay, that's cool, but still. <laughs> $985? Okay, let's take a look at the back of her so we know. 
I mean, she's still cool. I, I mean, I think this is something I would have picked up for sure. Okay, let's see what it says. Shafari patent pending. And then there's a little something there, but Ster there it says Sterling on her legs. Okay. Cool. But the images almost look like she's gold tone. Maybe it's the lighting they used, you know. But yeah, it says Sterling Silver. So, yeah, 1947. Okay, good, good, good. Good to know. Good to know. So where were we here? Hello. Okay, let me see how many friends we've got watching. Oh, 46 friends. Hey, go over there and hit the thumbs up. It really helps me. Uh, we got 10 thumbs up right now. Yeah, go over and hit the thumbs up. Okay, so we are clicking through. Look how this dog. That's so cute. Um, there's another eyeball. We looked at those already. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. Yes, yes, we would pick up Chanel. There's a fox. And I'm trying to get caught up to where I was. Look how cute this is. But like here's one. I mean, just like a cluster that could be like a bunch of rhinestones. If you're not looking more closely, look how fun this one is. This is a Chanel. Looks like those candy necklaces, right? Bye, Tam. Bye. <laughs> um, okay, here's this chick. Uh, let's see. I may just go over and click. Did you guys see that? Look at this gesture. Vintage Raja Sterling Silver Ruby Court Jester Brooch. Wow. So another one that I clicked on. Now, yes, I would have picked this up, but I would not have anticipated it being what it is. So it's a sterling silver brooch, but I think, you know, yeah, it's got, you know, the stones, the amethyst and all this. George Jensen. Now, I'm wondering if they, so here's the stamp. Does George Jensen not have an E? Or did the stamp just like mess up on there? I don't know. So it might be something, nope, George Jensen, there it is. Okay, so something to look for. Sterling Denmark George Jensen, and it sold for almost $900. Yeah, cool. So, and then here was, is this it? This may be the last one that I have um, saved out. So here's another cool brooch that's just this, what is it, enamel or rare vintage Israel Sterling signed Gopher Sun brooch pendant. Okay. So, I mean, I would have picked it up because it's cool, but i that's not a brand that I've ever heard of. So, and I might be saying it wrong. I might not be pronouncing, pronouncing it correctly as gopher, but it looks like gopher. So let's go with it. About the size of a quarter. Very cool. Yeah. And 750 bucks. So definitely things to look out for. And I think on the next one, I am going to, let me switch this back over. No, these were all, Cindy, these were all buy it now. Um, I, I, when I sorted them, I made sure to only do buy it now because that's what I do generally. I don't do um, auctions. So on the next one, I think I'm just going to do Trifari and, and sort by the Trifari ones because I would have never known. I mean, I pick, I would pick up Trifari, but I would never have known that there are some that can sell for the hundreds into the thousands of dollars, like that lady and that lot. It was, yeah, very cool. So be on the lookout because that will be coming and we will do a little research on Trafari for the next one. Okay, thank you guys so much. Let me know in the description or in the comments down below if you have sold any high, high ticket brooches or if there were some that you saw that you were like, what, I would have passed that up because just made me feel not so alone, right? <laughs> Oops, bonk, clonk. Yeah, made me feel not so alone as not knowing, right? Because I just didn't know on some of these. Okay, thanks everybody for coming over to watch and I will see what I can do. I did go some go thrifting this morning with the boys. We're gonna see about going out some more tomorrow. Uh, so I may have a haul video because I did pick up some cool stuff. I'm in Dallas now, so <laughs> we've got new thrifting, new thrifting opportunities. Okay, thanks everybody so much. Go hit that thumbs up button and again, leave me a comment and let me know that I'm not alone. <laughs> and find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures, at Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, and my thrifting group, International League of Thrifters. And I will see you guys very soon. Have a great weekend. And if you are in the Gulf Coast area, please stay safe. Bye, everybody. And now it's that time again where I forget how to turn this off because I'm doing it differently. Oh, yeah, here it goes.
Bye, everybody. <laughs>